Happy Monday, everybody. It's finally 2022. So excited for that. Had to wear my stars today to enlighten our day. So how has everybody's holiday season going? Um, I'm glad it's over for myself. I had a lot of ups and downs emotionally. I learned a lot. Let's just put it that way. I learned a lot about myself and things of how I react to things and how I tolerate behaviors. And um, as long as you're growing in life, then, you know, <laughs> you can learn almost from just about anything. I had some good moments during the holidays. I'll give it that. I will say I remembered to remember the reason for the season of the birth of our Lord, which kept me afloat from going completely crazy. It could have been worse. Um, but I, I just feel for so many people who have, who have gotten the robot con, you know, the third gist of the new mosquito. And I, I know some personal, personally, some people who have had it this uh, holiday season right before the week of Christmas. And it's like, you know, and one of the guys I knew uh, since high school, you know, he's like Mr. Christmas. He's got like his lights on his, you know, house and he's got his Santa Claus up there and he was all excited about it and he got his ladder out and he's all happy, you know, and I was like, oh, he's going to be so excited this year, you know, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I got my boosters. And so anyway, long story short, he ended up getting it. Holiday stress, remembrances of those who've passed around the holidays, at least in my family, we've had a lot of passings around the family of holiday time. So, and animals and so it's not really the greatest time of reflection for us, but I had remembered to, I really had to dig down deep and think about um, how grateful I am about certain things that, you know, if all else fails, the best thing you can do is find things that you're grateful for right now. You know, and one of those things is to make new memories for the future holiday seasons not to reflect on the past because we're no longer there. The past doesn't exist anymore. So it's, I won't say that, you know, it's it's not good to just like, okay, forget about the past and just go right to the, you know, present day and the future and forget about the past. No, it's good to dive deep into the past one last time and really get out of it whatever you feel is holding you back whether it's a holiday thing, whether it's a weight thing, whether it's a diet thing, whether it's a workout thing, a fear of something, a work, you know, whatever it is. Deal with it one last time and then get rid of it. Because if you don't, it will eat you up for the rest of your life. That's what I've learned this year in this holiday season. Um, I had taken a lot of time off work to really reflect. And one of those things was I was going to make a video, but I got so sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so sick. I did not have COVID, but um, I had bronchitis, which my husband brought home from work. And then it got my roommate sick. And so <laughs> I didn't have a voice for a while there. I was blowing my nose. I was on the couch. We had to cancel so many events, um, which did not help anything at all. And then come, came Christmas, people started, you know, really... Uh, freaking out about, you know, COVID and, and some people are canceling. It was just a lot. <clears throat> Let's just put it that way. Anyway, uh, you know, but but you learn a lot about yourself and, and what your tolerations are and what um, growing into the new year. That guy just ran the stop sign. Um, <laughs> I just looked out the window. I'm like, hey, dude, you're running the stop sign right now. Uh, so anyway, I had to, I'm just sorry I'm ranting and ranting, but just feel like I wanted to get up that off my chest and I'm pretty sure that I am not alone. And I want to let you know you're not alone if you're going through these things too. That it's okay to be different. It's okay to not think like your family members. It's okay to feel evolved. It's okay to feel like you're the only one that deserves joy and happiness if everybody else doesn't want to believe that, even though they do deserve joy and happiness. Um, you know, I tried so hard for years to try to show people that were close to me, um, the things and the potentials I see in them. And if they're not ready to take that bull by the reins, and if they're not ready to take on that responsibility of, you know, changes that could help them in their life, or maybe they're just on a whole different journey and signed up for that before they were born or something, then there's nothing we can do about that. 
And the most important thing to remember is you can give a horse the water, <laughs> as you know the old saying, or maybe you don't, but they're going to want to have to drink it. So don't worry about anyone else because no one else is worried about your journey as much as you are. And remember that it's anything you do in your life, it, it's all about for you. Don't do it for anyone else. Don't lose weight for someone else. Don't gain weight for someone else. Yeah, there's a, the, yeah, I've heard of those too. Uh, you know, that want people to be bigger and that's their fetish. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> just, you know, and find something in yourself today that you love about yourself and roll with it. And if anything, take two seconds, find a mirror and say to yourself, I got this. I believe in myself. I deserve this right now and I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go make this happen today. Whatever that change is today, this is what we're doing. Whatever my New Year's resolution was, I'm going to make that happen today. I'm going to start it today. I'm not going to think about it. I'm tired of writing it down. I'm tired of thinking and meditating and, and putting myself out there in random thoughts. And <laughs> we could do that all day long, but until we put the books down and until we put the notepads down, the journals down, until we get up off of the couch and off of YouTube and get up and start something, start something new right then and there and take action, that's when the real magic happens. So speaking of magic, this week I started my yoga Started working out again for the first time in, God, probably since April, May, June, I don't even know when. Uh, since the sciatica was so bad, the knee blowing pains, all that crap in August. Um, this week, I focused on getting myself back on a regiment and started doing yoga again. I finally worked up the courage to put two blankets and two pads of yoga mats underneath my sciatica butt area. And I managed to do 30 setups. I went this way, and then I did ones on the side, and this way, and I'll show you when I feel more like I can really show you how I do them in a proper form. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just glad I did it. Um, you don't have to be perfect at something. That's one thing that really held me back as I always thought, oh my God, if I, I can't do it the exact way I wanna do it, I'm not gonna do it until I feel like I can do it that way. Oh, you know, and, and the thing is, is I realized so much more this year, more than ever before, is that practice makes perfect. Um, and, and what that means is that don't beat yourself up if you get on that scale and you had a really, like, for instance, <laughs> so my, my Christmas was supposed to end at Christmas, you know, like that Christmas day, I, that was my cheat day. That was my, I'm sorry, like on point day that I was going to eat something that wasn't like what they call a signature meal or a cheat meal. And because everybody kind of canceled uh, and I had one group of family members that did come, it was fantastic. We had a great time, but they really screwed up my diet because then everybody else who decided, oh, we feel bad. We want to go, you know, a week from now and celebrate on a different day meant that I had to think ahead and think, okay, quality of life versus dieting or lifestyle changes. <laughs> oh, so you know what I did? I rolled with the punches. I had one meal, extra meal I did not account for. But then the next day, it mostly depends on what you do your next day. Jump right back on track. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That was only 95% of my month was getting right back on track and not worrying about having to roll with the punches of that one meal that was off plan. Okay, I'll take it. That meant seeing my quality of life with my great family members that I got to see that day. Fantastic. So you have to balance your life. <laughs> Ooh, also batch prepping or meal prepping is the most important thing in the universe of mankind when it comes to a non-tracking kind of lifestyle of food and eating to learn your true hunger and fullness cues. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without meal prepping. I meal prep Sundays and Thursdays, and I always make sure that I make enough food. Always make sure you make a menu, and what I do, I'm gonna really dive deep into a video about this. I'll get more into all those different things too on like lifestyle changes and what I'm doing and what makes, what can help us through these colder months if you're in the middle of an area with snow, 
you know, what can we do? What can we do to socialize? You know, one of the things I found for my quality of life is to, um, I use my Oculus Quest too, and I, I talk to lots of people. It's a lot of fun. It's brought me so close to different people all the way around the globe. And I learned so much. And what I've really learned is that everybody's looking for the same things, really, at the end of the day. Um, it's it's amazing, really. It's a really great eye-opener. If you ever get a chance or can afford to go ahead and get yourself an Oculus, um, it's amazing. I Wow, I've learned so much. I built my own world. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, it, it's just cool. You can go into Horizon Worlds and build a world and have people come to it. And on Tuesdays, I'm going to start talking there and, and doing some, you know, meditative thought or, you know, um, just kind of spreading positive messages on there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is my month two video. I am going to be doing another unboxing soon. It's going to be way more exciting than the last box I did. Uh, I'm really excited because I really like this company. I've used them several times in the past. I'm really glad to be getting back on track to being able to, uh, make that happen. So surprise box coming this month. In the last two months, I've lost between 10 and 14 pounds because I fluctuated due to the rolling with the punches. That's okay. I have no problem. I know why. And that's the most important thing on a journey of weight loss is knowing why you're losing and why you're gaining weight. So I'm really working on my signature system to learning how to get out of a plateau and learning how to um, manage how to keep losing. And if I do hit a plateau, I'll know what to do. Um, once I learn every little nitpicking thing, I will share this with you as well. Right now, I'm just kind of letting you know my two month video of letting you know, yes, I did gain this week. I gained like a pound, pound and a half. That's okay though, that's way better than what it could be for the month of December. Um, I, I will say overall for December, I pretty much stayed almost the same minus a pound, which isn't bad for being December because there was a lot of up and downs, a lot of stress, a lot of unplanned little snack things that I kind of dove into. I didn't want to beat myself up over it. I did my best with staying on track and then I'd go and I'd have a couple pieces here and there of different little foods that like in for instance I would have nuts with like dark chocolate on them instead of like um having another meal on plan like a smaller meal <clears throat> so little things like that added up I know that with the stress levels when I get really stressed out I gain weight no matter what I could look at a cheeseburger and I'd, I'd gain weight just looking at it so and no I did not have any meat like that this <laughs> month at all. Um, I did really good about meat. I didn't have any meat, nothing, nothing. Um, not even a smidge. I haven't had red meat in, oh my gosh, I haven't had red meat since May. <laughs> that's, good. that's so weird to say that because I used to think, oh, I need iron. I need iron. I'm hungry. I'm craving something. And it's just funny. Cause like, I think back to like when I did high carb Hannah and like, um, and like there's, there's no sugar, salt, and oil. And I just, I did it so wrong. I just feel bad about it. Cause I'm like, man, I could have done like, I don't know. I don't think I would have stuck with it if it wasn't for the way I did it this time. I did it very slow and I did it very gradually. I started with the processed vegan foods and then I went into whole food plant-based. Then I went into whole food plant-based vegan SOS, you know, and, and that's mainly what I eat each day is no sugar, soy, oil, or salt for you know, majority of my week. And then I'll have one meal off plan that might be still vegan, but like, you know, uh, not even processed, but just um, sauces, you know, like uh, I had red curry sauce one time on eggplant instead of like, um, instead of something that didn't have like as much salt content in it as curry. But, you know, a little bit of salt on Dr. McDougal, they don't really bitch about that. It's um, when you, when I'm doing the SOS, it's because I'm eliminating everything to for the maximum weight loss part for me. Um, it just helps my body readjust to learning my full and uh, quality of the hunger fullness cues. And I think that's why I do the SOS is because I want to learn what it feels like to truly be hungry and not have the um, added flavors of SOS to um, to get in the way of 
knowing when I'm truly hungry and when I'm truly full. So that is why I do SOS. Um, it's not part of Dr. McDougal to do SOS, but um, it's an, an, an added step that the journey that I'm on right now, I'm doing with a very um, structured uh, nutritional coach. And if you are interested in doing that, it's really, I mean, it is intense, but I'll tell you what, it works. If you really need help with Dr. McDougal's Start Solution more than just the internet, um, in a book, um, check out Healthy Emmy. <laughs> She's on YouTube and I do her program. I'm on her master's program right now. It is worth every moment of that journey. If you take it to heart and you do what she says, you will lose weight. If you have had problems in the past, oh, let me tell you, girl, man, whoever, whatever, um, <laughs> it works. It works. The, the only thing that's worked so drastically for me in the last couple months, I, I just can't get enough of how amazing it is. Uh, so it's January. So what's that mean? That means We Fit Lover here is not eating out the entire month of January. That's what that means. Yeah. So I'm on day three right now. So no eating out. <laughs> well, I look forward to next video. Hopefully the box will get here before next week so that I can share that with you. Here is some before and after shots between November 3rd and today to show you my two month update on the Healthy Emmy program. And that's the other thing. If the scale's not moving, please, God, look at those inches because, man, my clothes are fitting so much better. Do not go by clothing sizes because every brand is different. I don't care where you go. Every brand's different. Best thing you can do is just roll with it and put on what fits. <laughs> So, and don't beat yourself up over it because it's not worth it. And I hope something helped you in this video today. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. And I look forward to the next video. See you soon. And let me know in the comments how you're doing, how your journey is going, what you're up to, how is your holiday season. And let me know if you are not alone and you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say things. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.